Hi, Leo, Sun, Moon, Ascendant, or Venus. This is Dane, and I am going to be doing your April 1st to the 15th, 2020 reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you, please give it a thumbs up and also to subscribe to my channel. So let's dive in, but before we dive in, because these are kind of scary, trying times, this reading is only focusing on the positivity, the love, and the light to really uplift and move us forward. All right, so let's start with the Spirit Guide animal cards. These are also going to be your totem animals for this time. If you see these animals in the wild or an image of them, this is your angels and your spirit guides tapping you on the shoulder saying, Leo, remember this message. So let's see what they have to say. Angel and spirit guide message for Leo, April 1st to the 15th, 2020. Angel and spirit guide message for Leo, April 1st to the 15th, 2020. Angel and spirit guide message for Leo, April 1st to the 15th, 2020. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Show me clearly. Fantastic. So we have the canary spirit, which says, sing your own song. And then we have the butterfly spirit. Transformation is beautiful. So as you sing your own song, as you embrace your truth, your transformation is beautiful. It's really actually, I, I see stunning, just like breathtaking. Angel and spirit guide message for Leo. April 1st to the 15th, 2020. Angel and spirit guide message for Leo. April 1st to the 15th, 2020. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. This one right here. So we have inner child. And then we have play. So the heart chakra is super strong within you, remembering love and joy and happiness and just being happy and prosperous within yourself. That is going to be so beneficial to you during this time, most definitely connecting with your inner child and not holding yourself back for, for past things that were out of your control. Angel and spirit guide message for Leo, April 1st to the 15th, 2020. Angel and Spirit Guide message for Leo, April 1st to the 15th, 2020. Angel and Spirit Guide message for Leo, April 1st to the 15th, 2020. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Fantastic. At the center of everything, we have the Queen of Wands. That's you, Leo, shining through as a queen. You're crowned with the four pentacles. Then we have the hermit. This is a Virgo energy, a time of August 23rd to September 22nd. The high priestess, I love the hermit high priestess pairing. It's absolutely stunning. Then we have the king of wands. Oh my gosh, okay. The seven of pentacles. The nine of wands. The four of wands, the repeat of the number four is saying to take care of yourself. Then we have the king of pentacles, earth sign energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, strong Virgo presence here. And then we have the Ferelt, which is the, goodness, which is the temperance card. There we go. I was going to say Sagittarius energy, but it is most definitely Sagittarius energy and Sagittarius time frame of November 22nd to December 21st. So let's start off by talking about your spirit animal, your totem animals for this time. I love that both have flight to them, both have crowns over them. So this is embracing your royalty, your majesty, taking flight. And this says, sing your own song. Be you. Be you, Leo. Be you and be it proud and be it loud during this time. Just embracing your heart, your soul, yourself. No apologies. No, oh my gosh, you know, just being yourself is going to be brilliant. And it's really going to help you move forward. And then we have the butterfly spirit, which says transformation is beautiful. You are going to see the transformation by singing your own song, by embracing your love and your life is going to be absolutely stunning. This is a beautiful transformation. It is a stunning transformation and it is an empowering transformation. And then with your heart chakra shining through just so brightly, it is 
it is beautiful to know that your heart is with you. You know, you have your heart in everything right now, really moving towards your passion, your creativity, what you desire. And you have the king and the queen of wands, which is just making me so excited for you. And then with the inner child, it is releasing doubts, fears, negativity from when we were children that we hold on. And we say, wow, maybe if I was just better, you know, this wouldn't have happened, that wouldn't have happened. The way we put chaos upon us as children and say, oh, I can fix it. You know, I could fix my parents' marriage if I was just a better child. I could, you know, stop this person from dying if I was just, you know, this. And or I could do all this stuff that we put on ourselves as children where really you, you don't have very much power over anything at all. And so we carry those scars with us. And now it's time to bend down to that little child you once were and say, I love you and I'm here for you in a way that nobody else can be because I know the pain that you are going through and that you went through because it forged me. And then embracing in play, joy, laughter, happiness, love is going to be so important for you during this time, forgiveness. So important just to let your heart shine through. And as you embrace your beauty and your prosperity, I mean, there is such power to you, Leo, that, you know, others might be like, wow, You're, they're definitely going to see it. And it is, it is gorgeous. So you start here with the queen of wands at your heart. So at your heart of things, you're going to be much more comfortable behind the scenes, but you have a king spirit, all right? So this means that you're very comfortable being seen, but you're also going to be very comfortable being behind the scenes, taking everything in and, you know, stopping listening to the chaos of the world outside. Now, this is not saying to go against what health-wise is being instructed, but this is saying to not feel like it's a war coming on, you know, not feel like everybody's words are, are chipping you down a bit and a bit because as you embrace your power, as you turn inward, you're kind of closing the door and saying, okay, I'm connecting with me. I'm connecting with what I love, family, friends, you know, being around family might seem a bit trying during the times, but also it's, it's going to be good because it is connecting us more. And you're seeing this strong connection come forward in your passion, your creativity, your prosperity. And as you do so, you're seeing a greater connection with what you want, what you desire, and the way that you are moving forward. Skyping with people is going to be a fantastic thing to do. A sense of just really coming together, even over distances. And as you embrace what you love, what you desire, there's prosperity coming in, a strong connection with an earth sign energy. Virgo, yes, but also a Taurus or a, a Capricorn during this time. It's going to be a time of setting down roots, looking at what you desire, fire and earth coming together. Fire rages on the earth, right? Most definitely, but it also is the core of the earth and it is the sun. So you're finding this beautiful balance because also with the earth, Controlled fires help make forests lush. So you are seeing how to marry the two, passion and creativity, you know, earthly practicality with spiritual desire and this fierceness of mind. So you're having the two coming together and you're seeing that you are much more powerful than you give yourself credit for. And you're also seeing that you know a heck of a lot more than you realize. And it can also be working really well with an earth sign earth sign energy, a Taurus, a Virgo, and a Capricorn. And as you do so, we have the four pentacles here. As you connect with your roots, what you love, what you desire, what you truly need, the four pentacles is prosperity coming, but it's also releasing vampiric energy, negative energy that has been weighing you down, that has been holding you back, that makes you doubt the way that you can move forward. And so with the four pentacles, you are seeing prosperity coming in, you're going to be unlocking the chest. But here, you know, you're also going to see who's trying to steal from you, who's trying to take away the prosperity that is blessed into your life, your soul, yourself. And so with stealing, it doesn't have to mean actually somebody physically stealing. It can very well be that there's a metaphorical, you know, energy stealing, you know, a draining of self, somebody who sits there and always wants to ride your good news, your prosperity without doing anything for themselves. And so I would highly recommend during this time seeing yourself surrounded by golden light, the golden light of the universe. And with negativity, but 
happens is that in that golden light, there are going to be strands. It can be strands, it can be, you know, bigger, bigger, like almost tube-like that are coming in that are like sewer sludge. And that's the negativity that is around you. That's the vampiric energy. And I would say here, really what spirit always recommends and what your angels always say that they will do is they have, I always see the angels with this beautiful flaming sword, right? And they're spinning it and spinning it. And when it comes to clearing our energy, they take that sword and they cut through all the negativity around us. All the negativity, all the hatred, the doubts, the fears. And they take away the sewer sludge that's coming in. And you might say, Dane, we just cut through the whole entire light. Yes, we did. And by cutting through that light, the light of the universe comes back to us instantaneously. But we've alleviated ourselves of negativity, of hardships, of pain, and of the disappointment that we're carrying around that we don't even know. And as you do so, you then move to the four of wands, prosperity, success, bounty, celebration. This is a celebration of family, of friends, those who have become like family to you. This is a celebration of love. This is the minor, car ar minor arcana, there we go, marriage card. And so it is a celebration akin to a wedding. It is a sense of embracing joy. And you might say, oh my gosh, there's so much stress. Yes. But there is also a marriage that is going on between what you truly desire and what you truly want and where you are now. And you are finding a strengthening of resolve, of dedication, of spirit, of purpose. And as you do so, you see yourself moving forward. This is new job opportunities. This is, you know, traditionally this is new job opportunities, moving house, everything like that. But it's also sitting there and embracing wonders of saying, I can move forward and not being held back. This is also with the repeat of the number four. Again, it's very important to take care of yourself. Your house is going to be very important to you, your home where you reside, but also the house of your soul, your body. Meditation will help alleviate negativity, will help connect you with your heart chakra beautifully, and will also help strengthen the walls of your home. Your physical home, yes, but also the home, again, of your soul, your body. So if you could do family med meditations, that would be lovely. If you, you know, just like meditating by yourself, or if you want to meditate with people and you don't have people around to meditate with, then meditating on Skype would be beautiful. It might sound a little bit funny, but just knowing that those people are there with you in that moment, that would be absolutely breathtaking. And as you do so, you know, you might find meditation to be hard. You might find that a lot of things are coming into your mind, into your mind and fear and, and chaos. But by meditating and, you know, sitting quietly and playing a song in your head, you know, singing a song to yourself, saying, you know, a positive, uplifting, beautiful song and saying, this is what I'm focusing on. You'll find that the meditation comes. You can also sit outside, you know, if it's warm and sunny or just in the sun in your own house and have that warmth on you. And, you know, have that be what you focus on. The birds singing is something I love to focus on. Outside with the birds singing is something I love. But, you know, do what is right for you. And do what is, of course, being recommended. And then as you move forward with this prosperity, this success, this sense of balance, this sense of coming home within yourself, you have the king of wands. And I have to stop and say, I love this. I love this so much because this is you right here. You have the king and the queen of wands. This is the masculine and feminine aspects of yourself coming together. This is a soulmate connection, a true love connection. You might see avenues opening up, doors opening up that you never expected during this time. You're also going to see a power of yourself that you thought was unobtainable, unrealistic. And here, there's a sense with the cat underneath her throne. There's a sense of something hidden but protective over you. And that I really see as your angels wrapping their wings around you, protecting you, Leo, as you are moving forward, as you are looking at what you desire, as you are coming into your own. And there's such a sense of power and dedication that you have during this time. It's like you are strong and sturdy and like a pillar of strength. And you might find that other people really lean on you because you are so determined, you are so strong. And there can be resentment that comes up from that, I'm seeing here, but know that it is a, a very high compliment. 
and as you are moving forward, as you are embracing your passion, your beauty, your love, you are seeing here that you have you know, the temperance card. You have balance coming in with the frelts. And as balance comes, comes in, you're connecting with the energy of the universe, the energy of magic, the energy of spirit, the energy of the angels. You are calling that into you. And you're doing so with this determination, with this force, with this power, with the sense of, I have every right. So not with a meekness, you know, not with a, oh my gosh, I shouldn't be, but with a, this is my birthright, this is my power, this is my truth. And as I call it in, I feel more balanced, I feel more centered. You are also having a balance between the earthly plane and the spiritual realm. So what is practical and what your soul truly needs. And as you call it in, as you embrace this power, you have the seven of pentacles. And what I love here is that with the seven of pentacles, you have the prosperity right here and it's in the tree. And here, this person is taking down the ivy. Now, why is that important? Well, in ancient Celtic times, they very much believed that ivy was an unstoppable force because it could fell a, an oak tree. So here, you're taking away the poison, the poison because the ivy went into the tree and it sucked away all its nutrients, all the power it had for its living and said, oh no, I'm going to thrive now. And so what you're doing here is there's a bit of a cleaning house type of time. And then there's a focusing on your prosperity, your abundance, your desire, what you need, what you want to move forward. And as you do this, as you clean house, as you look at what's truly important to you, there's the high priestess. And the high priestess is right here with you in this triangle right here. Okay, so you have at the base you, you have the queen of wands and the king of wands, something that is so exciting, especially after negativity, you know, harsh, negative, hurtful energy that that's crowning that you are moving away from, detaching yourself from. You have the high priestess here who is turning inward, who is calling on inner knowledge, who lifts the veil from your eyes and helps you move forward, helps you see what others do not see and know what might seem to be unknowable at times. So really listen to your intro intuition. It's going to be on point. And as you embrace your passion, your desire, what you need, what you're seeing, what you want, you are going to see, again, doors open that once seemed closed. You're going to see a power within yourself. And I always like to think of the high priestess of the Oracle of Delphi in Greek mythology. Well, not Greek mythology, in the Greek and Roman world. And the Oracle of Delphi, she was this woman who, she was a priestess, and people came from all around the world, all around the ancient world, to talk to her. And now you can say, now she was a crazy woman in a cave who breathed in hallucinogenic fumes. Yeah, sure, you can definitely say that. But she gave prophecy, and people from all over the ancient world went to hear it, and came to her for the answer to questions. And there was such a belief there. There was such a power there. And now the Oracle of Delphi, she spoke in riddles, most definitely. And so as you connect with spirit, as you open up your eyes to the truth of the beauty that is around you, spirit will talk, but in riddles. And you'll have to learn how to decode, how to understand. And as you learn, as you see, as you gather, as you understand, as you bring in, you are empowered. And it depends where you are in your journey, how enlightened and how intense this time will be. For some, it might seem a little bit uncomfortable. You know when people are lying. You know when people are being negative. For others, it's going to be like a tidal wave coming over you, Leo, where you're sitting there and you're like, wow, I thought I could trust this person. You know, I thought this was the right path, but now I'm seeing that, you know, I'm changing everything. And it can be astoundingly intense, especially when it's paired with the hermit, because this really does have you pulling inward. And this is going to be a sign, a time of inward discovery, inward power, inward purpose. And it leads you to claiming your prosperity and connecting with the energy of the world around you. And as you do so, again, it's keeping out the negativity. It's keeping out fear and doubt and chaos. And it's saying, world, I hear you. But right now, instead of spending all my energy just simply defending myself and being exhausted, 
I will do what needs to be done. But I am going to listen to the guidance of my heart and my soul as I move forward. So this is disengaging from fear. It's going to be very, very important for you, Leo, because it can become a cycle, like a hamster wheel, just over and over and over and getting nowhere. So as you, you know, do what needs to be done, but you're listening to your heart, you're listening to your soul, you're listening to yourself, you turn inward towards the light of your creativity, of your passion, of your desire. You have hermit time, so you have time of quiet. It might not be complete quiet at all, but a time of introspection, a time of seeing what's truly important to you, a time of heightened creativity. You have here security, stability, walking with you. When we have the wolf or the, or the dog, depending on the way you see this, this dog, this wolf right here. So you have this connection with nature. You have this connection with the nature of universe. And so this is your angels, this is your spirit guides, this is loyal companion walking with you. And this time is also a time where you see who stands by you and who does not. You know, what is truly important. And as you move forward, you move forward in enlightenment, you move forward in beauty, and you move forward in dedication. It brings you to happiness of home, prosperity of self. It brings you to a place where you really are moving forward in blessings. And as you move forward, you're going to see that the negativity that has defined things for quite some time it starts to fall away and it falls away into this passion, into this creativity. You have the repeat of the number nine, the end of a cycle is coming. And as the end of a cycle comes, you embrace the wisdom of where you stand and of what you stand for. And this beautiful, passionate, powerful energy of the king and the queen of wands is just, it's just you during this time. It's a balance, it's an understanding, it's a reason, it's, it's stunning. And it's absolutely what you need and what you want. Your subconscious message for this time is the Princess of Swords. This is an air sign energy, a Gemini, a Libra, an Aquarius. This is being a student of your heart. This is looking at things with new eyes, open eyes, no longer prejudging. It's kind of like in Buddhism, when they say, come to things with a beginner's mind, you're entering into this beginner's mind where you're like, wow, I'm seeing things anew. I'm embracing things with new power, with new truth. And the way that things once were, the way that we had once defined everything, Leo, is starting to kind of fall away. And we're seeing a new configuration. And as you embrace this new configuration, as you embrace this powerful feminine energy that is around you, this energy of caring, of love, of, you know, an embracing of soul and of self, of study and of, of seeing not just what you want to see, but what is truly before you in a way that is breathtaking. It moves you to the subconscious message of your chakra, which is rebirth. You are reborn. Now this is the earth star chakra. This is located six inches below your feet. And as you embrace this rebirth, as you embrace this rebirth into strength, into beauty, into positivity, into connectivity. You are going to find that you don't see the world as black and white, white page, black pen. You know, you see the world in infinite shades of gray. And that's what gives the picture depth, right? If you just draw little stick figures, it doesn't have depth. But with added colors, with gray, with shading, the picture comes alive. And that's what you're seeing things here really coming alive as you are transformed. And again, look at that, the butterfly comes in. The butterfly is your lucky sign. Really, seriously. And then this leads you to your subconscious spirit animal message with the deer. Oh, I love this one. Bring a gentle touch. It is time for a, a gentle touch in this world. A gentle way of moving forward. A connection of peace and of beauty. And so here with the deer spirit, it is coming to things with the grace of self and with gentleness at your heart. And you will find that it's through gentleness, it's through caring, it's through compassion that everything really does change. All right, Leo, I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you, and I love you all. Oh, and I'm sending healing, loving energy to each and every one of you.
拜。